I don't know what kind of a person comes to a thing like this and dresses up as a character. It doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm here with a guy who does music, Johnny Carter. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, it's actually Colton. It, 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 Colton Carter. So, you make the music? Yes, I, well, I make some music. I don't make all music, but I, yes, I write songs, yes. Here we are at the idiot booth. This is where people go to look like goddamn idiots. So I'm here with an actor, William Horton. Will Wheaton. The, uh, that too. Yeah, now you were in the Star Wars. Star what was Trek. it like to work with Star Steven Trek. Spielberg? Was, it was Star Trek, and I worked with Gene Roddenberry. And uh, he directed the Star Wars? He, no, he was the creator of Star Trek. You like to play games? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go see the Scribblenauts booth. I'm real excited. I, You know, I tell you, I had a friend of mine who used to have Scribblenauts. He had to see a doctor, and he had to get them unscribbled. No, he had scrambled nuts. That's what oh. I'm. That's what I was thinking of. So I'm here with the comedy duo Paulie Shore. Paul and Storm. I understand you got your start with your mother worked at the comedy store, and so that's where you started doing stand up. That's, that's that's Paulie Shore. We're Paul and Storm. So, wh how did you get your catchphrase? Hey, buddy. That's a different person. He's a comedian and he was on MTV. We're a comedy music duo. I don't know what the hell to do. All the questions I had prepared were for Polly Shaw. Are these free? Yeah, they're all free. Okay, this is what. Do you have a bag? I could just take all of this. I could use a bag to put all these in a bag. I don't think you can take all of that. Can I put these in the bag too? Are these free? Can I take these? Is it true that they wrote that story about you, Horton, his a who? No, I'm, I'm not William Horton. I'm Will Wheaton. So who the hell is William Horton? So why are you dressed like a homeless person? Are you hoping people donate money to buy you a meal? Hello? So are you obviously Hello? dressed up as a young punk kid? What the hell is wrong with your face? Obviously, you're in your 40s, 50s, and most of your fans also in their 40s and 50s? 39, I'm 39. Does the shaggy look with the long hair and the beard turn off a lot of your fans? So do you like the music of Colton Carter? I'm uh, not really familiar with it. You mean Jonathan Colton? Maybe? Uh, you say apples, I say bananas. It's both the same fruit. So when you did that movie where you played the caveman, uh, well, how did they get all that facial hair on you? That was that was uh, Brendan Fraser was the, the caveman. Pauly Shore was actually just the, the valley dude. That's unpleasant. It doesn't feel good. Listen, I died in a bunch of ways, but never with a big spear through the chest. Do you have a, a new 8-track cassette or something that's out? I uh, No, I'm working on a new CD. A who D? CD. CD. It's a compact disc. It's like a record, but it's smaller? Yeah, it's like a record, but it's smaller. A friend of mine gave me a CD once, and I the needle kept falling off of it. Well, I think you may have been putting it in the wrong... I put, I put it on the player and I put the needle on you it and, then, it and then the, the needle was sliding oh, off the CD. You smell terrific too, I, I gotta say. I'm, I'm liking that a lot right now. What is that scent? Uh, it's a bologna sandwich. I didn't realize it was stupid haircut day. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's so goddamn funny. I'm trying to do an interview. He's Mr. Laffy Pants. <laughs> Let me ask you something. I'm a little tired walking around here. Could you carry me around on your shoulders for a while? Probably on my back, not on my shoulders. I'm gonna get on. Here we go. Here we go. Hop. Here we go. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is. I'm gonna tip you for this. 